Evening everybody, Billis Inc. back again with Raid Shadow Legends and this is the third video that I can't showcase in which I will show you my clan boss team a clan boss team that I've used for some time now the bracket unkillable an adaption of the budget unkillable well it is the budget unkillable with minor tweaks and when I first had the budget man it was 20 million damage and force is not the greatest one for me so we're going to do nightmare we'll slap a key onto there and show you how this works so the nightmare setup and the ultra nightmare setup are a little bit different ultra nightmare my slow boy is 115 speed uh, let's go to champions we need to check our cult brawler speed uh, and it's about 41, 45 million damage on Ultra Nightmare. Well, John Ponton Nightmare was forces. It throws off the stun target now and again, and it can be kind of quite annoying. So, the Ultra Nightmare, that's what he has for an Ultra Nightmare run. I'll just show you now, because there's a way to change slightly. But I put on this one for Nightmare, and it just basically he gains its speed, he loses 5 crit rate, and that's it. The other components to the tag team are obviously Brachus, who is just great. He has a nice little part of his kit, he's never going to get the stun. You can build him full damage, you can make him the speed he has to be, you get him crit capped, give him crit damage. And there you go. Uh, another component would be. God, am I forgetting who's in my clan boss team? Yes, I think so. Monitor, obviously. At this 240 speed, I believe. Low attack. But what can you do? It is how it is. Um, it is crit capped. I wanted everybody on my team to have 100% crit rate damage it's respectable so is attack so is hp but with the budget you need to you can't go all attack you still have to have some defense so fane is another one who i might try to get into fury or toxic gear which is the decrease defense weakened and poison champion 3400 attack slightly more defense than the slow boy 177 speed crit capped 240 crit damage, 240 accuracy. See it does well. The slow boy, you've seen a cult brawler. It's just the exact same, five less crit rate. It's just how the gear kind of works. And this is Painkeeper. She does have 2k attack, which is I'm not hugely bothered about it, just because she's landing poisons. On occasion, so I can slightly make a little bit of a waiver for that attack. She is crit capped again. Everybody, apart from a nightmare run, is 100%. She has some crit damage also, some defense as she would need. Second highest HP, and that's pretty much it. And now that we've put on the gear we need to put on, we'll jump into a run. On Ultra Nightmare, the unkillable straight away A3 from Monitor, A3 from Painkeeper, then from Monitor, it doesn't matter. You then go A1 Painkeeper before using A2 with Painkeeper on the third move. This setup for Nightmare, a little bit different, but it doesn't matter what you use, you do not use Unkillable because it's pointless. So we'll just go there. See how much damage we get. It's not void, so we're not going to get max damage, but we still do okay. We are going to reset abilities. We're also going to just see if we can land the debuffs we need to land. Dig just defense when we can. There we go. We're going to go increase attack to the whole team. Triple hit. Look at that. 80k, 60k. Just amazing. A cult brawler. 86k is respectable being 
weak affinity. Now we're going to go unkillable. A1 from Painkeeper. We're going to go A2 from Fane. Just see if we can last some poisons. Decrease attack. I mean, it, it takes up a, a debuff on the debuff bar. But if it lands, it lands. As long as we get the poisons. Again, Brachus. Fantastic damage. We again can just go A1 with Monitor. I like his A2. Sometimes I get sometimes a slight bit of extra damage. This is turn count 2. Painkeeper will take 2 turns. For the first one, use your A1. Uh, we'll go. We want to not use pain, uh, or Cult Brawler's A2. Don't want him to cleanse any poisons off. Let him take that damage. Let him get his HP down a bit lower. We're going to A2. 152,000. 77,000 proc. And some of these people can smack. Over 130k. We're just going to hit 110,000 with Brachis. And turn count to just before he takes a turn. We will do that before, boom, the stun goes to Occult Brawler. And then we will be hitting Auto. So we'll watch this for a little bit. I can't always do, I probably should, just to show the setup for it. Uh, do a <coughs> Ultra Nightmare run. If you guys want to see it, I'm pretty sure you'll know what the setup is. It says 41, 42 million, 44.8 million. Again, I want to try to get Fane into Toxic. I'll mess around with it. I've been destroying Dragon. I'm now first in the Fire Knight tournament. So it's even more relentless. 87 million silver. I've no idea where the hell it's coming from. It normally... When I load the game up, it normally takes silver. That's how it feels, but just because... Granted, I haven't been upgrading so much. Still, I've been making... I started grinding Dragon at like 30 mil. And I'm... Um, God knows, I'm so... Baffled by it. Now, Fire Knight, I'm first. I'll do a little bit more of a push. Get a bigger lead on first. Um... I'll keep energy if I need to. But yeah, I want the other relentless. It is epic, it's not legendary. <coughs> but five of six pieces did really, really well as far as rolling from Dragon Tournament, so cannot complain. And this is basically what we're doing now. We're on turn count nine. We'll hit turn count ten. We're going to skip ahead to turn 44, 45. We'll let you guys see the end, see the damage. I'll let you see the damage that everybody does. And then I'll take my leave and wish all of you lovely people a fine afternoon. So nothing's going to change. We're in the same rotation now. So I'm going to jump ahead and I will see you guys soon. Hey everybody, we're back at turn 44. Done quite well so far. Even for off affinity, we might still, as we often do, get the one key in. Not sure if you've seen it earlier, but on void for this affinity earlier, I did 49.17 million. And on magic affinity, we normally still do quite well, around 39.40, we're just closing in on the end now, everybody's hitting some nice sweet numbers, haven't seen much weak hits, uh, but it is what it is, there's always the chance when you lose 5% crit rate, 92k hits are pretty decent, 135 Pretty decent, still pretty good from Painkeeper. We're getting there. Um, we're 38 million damage so far. Two, plus 200k, 119. And I did, I forgot to show you the masteries. So I will show all the masteries. All of these champions are fully booked. I believe maybe 
Brackish might need one or two books. I have to be careful saying they're all books. I think Brackish might need one or two. But they all have masteries. I will show you all of the masteries after we take a look at everybody's damage. Forty more, so we have one key, and the off affinity. It's always a nice feeling. So, on a good day, like forty nine, fifty million. It's not not a massive, not a massive loss when you think about it being off affinity, when you have a, a range of champions that are. So happy enough. Turn count fifty, forty one. Point two three million damage. I caught brother. Actually, slightly less than normal. Eight million. Fane, <coughs> seven point four two million. Brackets is the MVP. On blue affinity, he does shine. Twelve point seven two million. Painkeeper, five point two, and monitor, seven point <coughs> seven point eight million. So I will show you all of the masteries for these champions. So tap on Brachus. So there is more damage to be had and he's a hell of a lot of books. I thought he was doing a little bit better. But his master is... Go down to War Master. Typical clan boss route. Some extra damage. And we get deterrence, retribution, resurgent, better defense, and decreases damage received from AOE attacks by 5%. The clan boss does AOE attacks. So that's why we have that one. I, think, I believe mo the master is apart from Painkeeper could be the same. Yep, so same for monitor. Let's pause it in case you want to take a picture. Uh, so let's see if everybody is the same. It is possible, yes. So they all have counter attack, they all have war master. They're all trying to cool down a skill. The title is resurgent. So we have the slow boy, slightly different. We don't want him to heal himself. We want him to not shadow heal whatsoever. Crit rate, crit damage, bring it down, single doubt. Methodical war master. Extra damage. And then also increases damage inflicted to targets. But that's the only one to really that you can go for. So at least to this one, increases damage inflicted by 4% for each debuff on this champion. He puts poison on himself, he gets debuffed during the battle. Leads to more damage. So we have defense, blast proof resurgent, delay death, retribution on a cult brawler. And for painkeeper, we went down to war master again with wrath of the slain. And kill streak just for some extra damage, extra HP. Use the value of heals his champion casts. Use the amount of healing the value of shield buffs. Merciful aid again for healing. Increases speed for each dead ally, which is actually quite good for fasting crypts. Kiss is champion by 10% of the match HP the first time an enemy is killed. Yeah, it's so accuracy because that's just what we went for. So that pretty much. I think that's all I can show you for just now. You've seen the champions, seen the great hall, seen the dungeons. I'll do it in other videos now and again. Uh, the teams kind of teams kind of differ. You've seen the clan boss team. You've seen the master is. You've seen the gear, you've seen the stats, I will wish you 
a good night. I'm about to watch no more jockeys because it's fantastic. Stay safe, guys. Keep on reading. See you in the next one.